All right, so now we're gonna talk about navigation, you know, navigating between screens. If you copy this or maybe you type this on the search, you're gonna get to this section. So maybe you're thinking, uh, all right, so I know React, so I know React Router, so this should be the same thing, you know? Just install React Router and that's it. Well, no, <laughs> it's nothing like that. This is a completely different way of handling different screens because if we think about this, on a phone, we don't really have routes. We have different components and they act as a route. So we cannot really, uh, we don't get something like React Router. We, we don't get it that easy. So what we get, we get the different component called React Navigation. Now, uh, like I told before, this course that you're watching right now is the second version of this course. On the first version, I've added uh, a different type of navigation because we have uh, different choices. Now, of course, you don't get a way to add navigation just with default React Native. We will need to install uh, something from a different developer, you know, a third party library. So um, on the previous version of this course, you got two different options. You get the React Navigation, which is this one. Let me just show you. And this one, it's from Wix. So Wix is the uh, developer of this one, the creator of, of React Native Navigation. So on the, pre on the first version of this course, we used this one because Re React, they gave us the option to use a different one called React Navigation. So at that point, this React Navigation from, uh, you know, pretty much the same developers than React Native uh, was not ready, was really buggy and not really complete. Uh, we almost had uh, no documentation at all. So I was forced to use the Wix one, right? So we use that Wix. And this one is really cool because they give a, give you kind of a native look and feel or, you know, uh, navigation, uh, you know, that's more likely, uh, to, it's more similar to iOS or Android. And it's really, really good, you know, it's really good. But the thing is that uh, now this version, this React Native Navigation works pretty good with iOS but not so much with Android. It gets, you get a lot of problems with Android. So I'm not gonna use this one this time and I'm gonna use the default that they uh, give us because now this one, it's ready, right? A few versions, you know, after it's ready. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty good, you know? It's pretty, pretty complete and the documentation, it's pretty good as well. So it changed. So now we're gonna use this one because it's much easier to use it's much easier to install. The Wix one is just super complicated to install. And this one is much, much easier and we get, you know, the documentation. So we're gonna use this one. All right, so if we click on, we go to navigating between screens and we go to React Navigation, they give us, dude, install this uh, dependency and, you know, you can use it. But that's okay, you, this is just an example. It's much more than this. This is, you know, not what we're gonna, we're gonna do. This is too simple for us. So if we go at the bottom, you get a link, follow the React Navigation navigation Getting Start Guide. So if I click on this, it's gonna take me to the API of React Navigation. Now, if I click this, of course, we go to the the, uh, the main screen. So of course you get the docs, the API and everything else. So if I go to the docs, you get you know, a complete guide in how to use it. You don't need to read it, we're gonna do it right now, right? Now, uh, with React Navigation, and what happens most of the times on the phones, uh, you get uh, different types of navigations. I'm gonna go here, you get a section on the docs, different status bar config configuration based on a route. So we get three types of navigation and sometimes we can combine different types on the same application. So you get a stack navigation, you get a drawer navigation, or you get a tab navigation. So right here, they give us an example. So if I go to this one, on this one, on this screen, we get a stack navigation. If we click on the button, it's showing us a different screen, not, not this one, right? It's showing us a different screen, right? On top of the previous one. It's just taking us to a different section, but on top. On this one, it's pretty much doing the same stack navigation, but it has a slight effect. But again, this is just stack navigation. So oh, with the, of course, with React Native navigation, we get some options like adding the header, for example. If we go to a section, uh, we get the the back, uh, you know, the button, just like we would get with a with a native uh, phone application. So this one is a stack. Now we get a different one, 
which is the drawer navigation. And this is what you would find on a web application. You click on a button, maybe on the menu button, and you get the side drawer with, you know, some options to go to different sections. Notice that it's changing colors and it's because it's going to a different component. And we're going to do this one as well. Of course, we're going to do stack, we're going to do drawer, and then you get a different one, which is the tab navigation. And you can find the, this tab on a lot of applications. So we're going to do this one as well. We're going to check this one. Now, of course, for each uh, type of navigation, we get different types of settings, different types of props. So we're going to spend some time talking about React Navigation. And this is like one of the most important parts of your application. Maybe, I don't know, you want to create an application that has a single screen. Well, you, yeah, well, if that's your goal, you don't need to watch this, of course. But most of the times you will get different screens, you will get a tab or you will get a side drawer. So this is the way to do it, you know, doing React Navigation. So we're going to start with a new application. Uh, we need to do a lot of coding, so we, I cannot uh, really use the zero one, right? So I gave you a sip of that one. If you want to download it and play around with that, that's okay. But on this one, we're going to start with a new application. Just like I uh, told you before, uh, React Native it just uh, changed. Uh, let me go again to the docs, React Native. And... Uh, it changed to the next version, the 59. On the previous one, we were using the 58. Now, and this is just my advice. You can do, at the end, you can do whatever you want. Either way, with 59, we don't get a lot of changes. Uh, you can install the 59 if you wish. The problem is that uh, at this date, this just uh, got uh, out. So it's not a good idea, idea to install as soon as this gets out. Not a good idea. Just install the previous version that you know that works okay, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to install the 58 and not the 59 because I know that that one works. This is too new, just one day new. I'm not going to use it. So first, we need to create an application to bring React Native to this uh, to this path. So I'm going to bring the terminal. You should do the same. Sorry, guys, I had to just cut the video. OK, I'm just don't worry. I'm going to continue right here. So I'm on the parent directory. So I want to bring a fresh installation of React Native. So React Native, then init. And then I'm going to, of course, need to pass the name of the project. Now, before, uh, like I told before, I would like to use not the latest, latest version, which is the one that got posted seven hours ago. Now, if you want, still want to use this one, uh, you know, just you can do it, of course, but it's your own risk. I'm going to use the latest stable version, uh, which is going to be the 058.6. Uh, much later, when we get to a different section, I'm going to download and play with this one in real, you know, just a little bit and see if it's uh, it's breaking any uh, something. And if it's not, I'm going to just use this version, right? Now, uh, right here, uh, it says quite a few de deprecated. So right here, we can go to the blog post and it says that, you know, hooks are here and everything else. And they give us information about, you know, some components that got, uh, you know, deprecated. And it's nothing of what you know what we've been using. The only thing we get is the slider, which is it's not really deprecated. Is that they are moving it to a different place. So the installation is a little bit, little bit different. But don't worry. As soon as we get more information, I just you know I'm gonna let you know. That's okay. All right. So how can we you know specify a different version? So in this case, I'm gonna do minus minus version zero dot fifty six dot and then eight. All right. And then, of course, the name of the uh, project, R native underscore zero two. So I'm going to press enter. Directory exists. Yes, I'm going to press enter and I'll be right back whenever this is done. But I made a mistake. Is zero fifty eight. That's six or eight. Oh, I, I said fifty eight. Oh, I'm sorry. That's six. Let me just remove it. It's fifty eight. That right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. Just let me just go back and double check it. Uh, 58.6. Right. I'm going to press enter. We're going to say yes. And okay. So I'll be right back whenever this is done. All right. So everything got installed. So do not run the simulators just yet. All right. We need to do some installing. Remember that React Navigation is a third party library. So we need to do some installations. So we're going to start on the getting started. Right here, they tell us what we need to do. So, okay, so let's go to the next 
uh, section and start installing React Navigation.